Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this render in Blender. So let's get started. Add a cube and a cylinder. With the cylinder selected, go into edit mode and press slash on the numpad. Set it to face select and press alt and click on this face here. Press shift D and P and click on selection. Now this is going to be a separate object. Now press S, shift Z to scale it on the X and Y axis. Press A and M to create a new collection. Hide the collection. If you don't see this option here, then you can go up here and enable it. Add a plane. Now go to geometry nodes and click on new. Delete the group input and select the cube and drag it in here. Or shift click on this node and add a subdivision surface node. I'm going to set the level to 5, but you can also set it lower. Set the edge crease to 0.4. Add a set position node. Let's also add a transform node. Set the x and y to 0.7 and the z to 1.2. Select all of these nodes and press Ctrl J. Now take the mesh that we duplicated from the cylinder and drag it in here. Let's put this up here, add a set position node, add a noise texture, plug the color into the offset. Let's bring back the collection real quick. I forgot to give this mesh some loop cuts. This should be enough. So let's go back into object mode. Let's hide the collection again and select the plane. Add a vector math node, set it to minus 0.5, duplicate the set position node and put it here. Let's also set the scale here to 0.17, duplicate the noise texture. Again, plug the color into the offset and add a combine X with Z node. Let's use the Z, set the scale here to 1, duplicate the vector math node and put it here. To make this look less jagged, let's add a map range node, set it to vector and and put it here. With the map range node selected, press Ctrl Shift D and put it here. Plug the vector into the offset of this set position node. Set the from maximum to 3.22. Let's go back here. Duplicate the set position node again and put it here. Add a subdivision surface node. Set the level to 2. Add a transform node. Set the X and Y to 1.029. I'm using the set position node here to wrap this around the rise. And we need to change the scale here because otherwise the rise will poke through on the sides. Let's select all of these nodes and press Ctrl J again. Take the cylinder and drag it in here. Add a subdivide mesh node. Select these two nodes here and duplicate them. Put them here and now press Alt P and now they are not in the frame anymore. Bring them down here. Set this to 40 and change the W and plug the vector into the offset. Let's save now and add a mesh boolean node. Take this geometry and plug it into mesh 2. Add a transform node. Set the scale on the X and Y axis to 0.78 and on the Z to 0.75. Add a mesh to volume node. Set the exterior bandwidth to 0. Add a distribute points in volume node. I am going to set the density to 100,000 but you can also set it to 10,000. Add an instance on points node. For the instance let's use an icosphere. Add a transform node. Set the X and the Z to 0.025. Set the Y to 0.1. Add a subdivision surface node. Set the level to 2 and disable it by pressing M. Now I'll put it here. The reason I'm disabling it for now is because it's going to be very heavy on the computer. Add a random value node, plug it into the scale and set the minimum to 0.25. Duplicate the random value and add a rotate instances node. Set the minimum to 0 and the maximum to 100 and plug the value into the rotation. Add a set material node, plug the instances into the geometry. Save again and add a realize instances node. Add a geometry proximity node. Take the Position and plug it into the set position node here. As you can see now, this is going to shrink wrap around the rise, which we cannot see right now. Duplicate the set material node and put it here. Duplicate it again and put it here. Connect it to the geometry here. Let's also select these nodes and put them into a frame. Add a joint geometry node. Take this geometry and this one. As you can see, this is too big, so let's add another transform node. Set the X and Y to 0.67 and let's set the set to 0.75. Let's also take this geometry and plug it in here as well. As you can see the rise is still clipping through here so let's change the scale here. I had to set the X and Y to 1.05. You may have to use a different value. In the material properties, create three new materials. Select the first one here, the second one here, and the third one here. Let's also add a set shade smooth node. Save again and go to shading. You can find a link to this HDI in the description. I recommend that you use cyclist for this. Go to film and make it transparent. Make sure the first material is selected. Add a noise texture. Set the scale and the detail to 15. 
Let's also set the distortion to 1.3, take the factor and plug it into the subsurface. Now set the base color to black, add a color ramp, bring the black into somewhere around here and the white here. Plug the color into the normal and into the roughness, add a bump node, put it here and duplicate it. Let's also add a vector math node, plug the normal into the vector. Here let's use the height and set the strength to 0.1. For this one set it to 0.25, now duplicate the noise texture and put it here, plug the factor into the height here and add a math node, plug the factor into the bottom value, set the distortion back to 0, now select the second material, add a mix shader, duplicate it and for this one set the factor to 0.25, plug the shader into the top socket here, add a subsurface scattering node, let's also add a transparent node, we also need a glass BSDF. Add a color ramp, duplicate it, take this color and plug it into the color here. Set the black to 0.4 and do the same here. For the color here I'm going to use this hex code. Here I'm going to use the same hex code and make it lighter, like this. Here I'm going to use the same hex code, again make it lighter and bring it over to the yellow. Let's do the same for the white and make it even lighter. Add a mix node and set it to color. Plug the result into the factor here and here. Also plug it into the roughness and into the scale. Add a wave texture. Plug the color into the factor. Set the scale to 4.88 and the distortion to 2. Now let's make A black and let's make B completely white. Let's also set this to saw. Now select the third material. Again delete the principal please diff and add a mix shader. Set the factor to 0.25. Add a subsurface gathering node and also add a glass piece diff. For the glass let's set the roughness to 0.25. Add an ambient occlusion node, connect the color to the radius and check only local. Save again and go back to layout mode. Go into front view by pressing 1 on the numpad and add a Q, press S, Z and type in 0.1. Let's move it down here, press S and shift Z and scale it like this. Now press Ctrl A to apply the scale and go into edit mode. Now press 3 and select this face here and press Ctrl B. Go back to object mode and add a modifier, set the angle to 0 and the segments to 3. Press Ctrl 3 now, set the render to 3. In the shading tab click on new and go to rendered view. Add a mix node, set it to color and make B black. Take the result and plug it into the base color. Set the roughness to 0.1. Duplicate the mix node and plug the result into A. Now add a math node and set it to subtract. Plug the value into the factor, add a noise texture, set the scale to 10 and the detail to 15. Take the factor and plug it into the top value. With the noise texture selected press Ctrl T. Add a color ramp, set the black to 0.615. Plug it into B and duplicate it and plug it into A. Duplicate the noise texture, duplicate it again and set this one to 40. Set the W to 15 and the scale to 2.5. Plug the factor in here and this one in here. Here let's use the object by the way. Select the mapping node and press Ctrl Shift D. Select it again and press Ctrl Shift D again. Plug the vector into the vector here and set the X to 0.1 and the Y to 20. Again connect the vector here and set the X, Y and set to 5. Go into top view and add a plane. Scale it up so that it is roughly the size of the cube, like this. Now go into front view and press G and Z and move it down. Go to geometry nodes and click on new. Add an instance on points node. For the instance let's use a cylinder. Set the vertices to 96. Set the scale to 0 0.025. Add a set material node and a set shades move node. Create a new material and select it here. Go to shading, make the base color black and set the subsurface to 0 0.005. As you can see there is a gap here so let's press G and set and move it up. For the top 6 let's add a Q, press S and shift Y and scale it like this. Now let's press S and Y and scale it on the Y axis. I'm going to hit slash on the numpad, press Ctrl 3 and again set the render to 3. Go into edit mode and here press Ctrl R and add a loop cut. Put it here, press Ctrl R again and type in 10. Now let's enable proportional editing and set it to root. Press 3 and select this face here. Press S and scroll your mouse wheel and scale this down. Like this. In the shading tab let's shade smooth and click on new. 
I'm going to use a free text for this. You can find a link to that in the description. With the principal PSD, I've selected press Ctrl Shift T and find the folder where you have the texture. Now press A and enter. Duplicate the chopstick and press G and X and move it over here. And now duplicate the material. Now change the location here. I'm doing this so that they won't look completely identical. Now press slash on the numpad. Select both of the chopsticks and press 1. Let's go to view purchasing for this and press G and put them here. Inside view let's rotate them and move them down even more. Now go into top view and rotate them like this. Are they playing and scale it up? Now let's press G and set and move it down. Now let's apply the scale. Click on new. For this I'm going to use a different wood texture. Again you can find a link to that in the description. Save again and go back to layout mode. Add a camera. I'm going to position my view around here and press Ctrl O 0. In the object data properties set the focal length to 250. Now press G and set twice and move it back. These are the coordinates that I'm using. Now go here and enable depth of field. Add an empty plane axis, enable the snapping and set it to face project, press G and put it here. Now select the camera, go to the object data properties, enable depth of field and select the empty, set the f-stop to 1, go into rendered view, add an area light, set the size to 1.5 and the power to 1000. In the object constraint properties select track 2 and select this plane here, disable the snapping and press G and Z and move it up. Now if we go into top view, we've got the camera here, so let's press G and put the area light here. Now duplicate it and put that one here. And duplicate it again and put that here. Make sure the last one is selected and go to the object data properties and set the power to 500. Do the same for the second one. Now select this plane again and go back to geometry nodes. Save again and enable this subdivision surface node. This might take a moment. Now go to compositing. Enable use nodes and denoising data and add a denoise node. Now add a bright contrast node. Set the bright to minus 1.25. Set the contrast to 5, add a mix node, let's also add a texture node. In the texture properties click on new and select clouds and set the size to 0. Now I select the texture here. In the output properties I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. Save again and press F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you liked this tutorial then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.